Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To print the current image to your default printer in either the Photo Editor or the Organizer window, select File, Print from the menu bar to launch the Print dialog box. Here you can select a printer and set your print options. Depending on the version of elements you are using, your dialog box may look a bit different, but you will still have the same choices to print your image. In the left pane, you can add or subtract photos to or from your print job by clicking the Add and Remove buttons that appear at the bottom left corner of the screen. If you click Add, you can add photos that are currently in the browser, add an entire catalog, add an album, or add photos by people, places, events, or keywords by clicking a choice in the Add Photos dialog box that opens. If needed, then use the adjacent drop-downs to make a selection. Choices are displayed to the right. You can click any choice to select it. You can also use the Select All and Deselect All buttons below the choices to make your selections. After making your selections, click the Done button. Alternatively, you can click the Cancel button to not add photos to the print job. At that point, you will then return to the print dialog box. If you have multiple photos, you can select a photo from the listing at the left side of the screen. To remove a selected photo from the print job, click the Remove button at the bottom of the left panel. Also note that if you have multiple photos selected, you can click the Go Forward a Page and Go Back a Page buttons, which look like small blue arrows in the middle pane of the dialog box, to select a page of the print job to adjust. In the middle pane of the print dialog box, you can choose to rotate the selected image by clicking the two rotate buttons. To rotate the image within the image placeholder, check the adjacent image only checkbox before clicking the rotate buttons. To scale the image within the image placeholder in the page, use the slider to the right of the rotation buttons, or simply click the button shown at either end of the slider to set the minimum or maximum scaling possible. In the Position section, in the middle pane of the dialog box, you can select how to place the image on the page. To specify your own position, uncheck the Center Image checkbox, enter specific values into the top and left fields, and then use the Units drop-down to specify the units of measurement for the values that you entered. In the right pane, you make your printing selections. Select the printer to use from the drop-down in the Select Printer section. In the Printer Settings section, you can keep the current printer settings shown, or you can click the Change Settings button to make advanced changes to your selected printer in the Change Settings dialog box that appears. If you open the Change Settings dialog box, use the drop-downs to make your selections, and then click the OK button to apply them. In the Select Paper Size section, Select a paper size by using the drop-down. In the Select Type of Print section, choose a type of print from the drop-down. Your choices are individual prints, picture package, or contact sheet. In the Select Print Size section, choose a print size from the drop-down. To crop the photo to fill a selected print size, check the Crop to Fit checkbox. Choose the number of copies to print by entering a value into the Print Number Copies field or by clicking the adjacent up and down arrows on the number field to change its value. To change the Page Setup options for the printer you selected, click the Page Setup button at the bottom of the dialog box to open a printer specific dialog box that lets you adjust those settings if available. Make any changes you want, and then click the OK button in that dialog box to apply them and return to the print dialog box. To print your images, click the Print button in the bottom right corner of the print dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.